What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to day three, day four of uploads, day three of Haunt Talk. <laughs> Today we're talking about Not Scary Farm. They just released a, uh, a promo trailer announcing that they are returning for the 2021 haunt season starting September 16th, going all the way to October 31st, as most haunts are doing because that's a Sunday and that's Halloween. Um, so they are returning Not Scary Farm, and we got ourselves a little bit of trailer the trailer is, of course, uh, the conductor that you see in Ghost Town with his lantern walking off the train out of the fog to, uh, through Ghost Town to Boot Hill Cemetery where we see uh, the grave digger in the back uh, digging up the grave and on the tombstone says, Not Scary Farm 2021. This is honestly uh, the way I took it, and Sammy will probably talk a little bit about it too. The way I took it was this was the metaphorically thing of them having to put down not scary farm for 2020 uh with the pandemic and bringing it back for 2021 pretty much digging it up resurrecting it and bringing it back not scary farm 2021 happening so i got one question that i just want to talk about though obviously we got no hint of origins or anything in this trailer are we still doing that timeline are we still doing that storyline or are we starting fresh and just doing a haunt just to bring it back all right I'm going to touch the first topic and then we'll get to origins. First thing, first, I'm the realist. Um, that was a joke. Uh, um, uh, you don't know this song, probably. Yes, I do. First um, things first, I'm a realist. Realist. Okay. Um, but I think in regards to the tombstone, um, I like your idea. I was just thinking it's more along the lines of every year they bury the haunt. And it always comes back because what gets buried in Boot Hill seems to always come back to life. Could be um, both. Got a little, I mean, it's a good. A it, it is a good metaphor for not having it in 2020 and then bringing it up for 2021. But that also could be the symbolic reason of it. Because what comes, uh, based upon what we've learned at the old ghost town, is a uh, there's some going down in Calico, in that Boot Hill Cemetery, and what dies. Seems to be coming back to life every time. Hang that witch. Hang that witch. Make sure you enunciate the W in witch. Because <laughs> otherwise, that's going to sound real bad. Yes. Um, um, I'm, I've walked by that line many times. And I think thought, we both hmm. have. You can They're hear it from the fucking, you can hear it from the schoolhouse. The guy had a microphone. Mm, they're not enunciating that W in the... <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, nonetheless, yes, I do like your idea. But I, I do I do think it's just uh, what, goes, what Barry there does come back to life, which brings me to Origins. Um, obviously, I think they're not scrapping um, the original, the first Origins things we got. And I think it's just going to expand. I think we're continuing to build to number 50. Yep. Um, so I think every area will have something um, to further tie the lore of the scare zones with the lore of the mazes to make it a comprehensive event and to put the the witch, uh, what's her name, Sarah? Sarah Marshall. Sarah Marshall. That's right. How could I forget her? How could you forget, man? <laughs> How we had three things, man. We had Ghost Town, we had Origins, and we had The Hanging. All featured Sarah Marshall. All featured Sarah Marshall. Yeah, so I think Sarah Marshall will be reigning supreme, and somehow we will get all of her land together. Because uh, based on my understanding of the event, is every part of it is a, is a part of Calico or near Calico. Right. Um, just at different phases. Right. Uh, or, well, different eras, I should be saying. Um, obviously, ghost towns like the 1800s, uh, whereas um, CS is like the 1600s, 1700s. Yeah. Um, More witch trials. Yeah. Um, I think Boardwalk is like. I would say like more in the 1950s, well, like, 60s, maybe. Yeah, like early 1900s. Um, or even modern day, potentially. I don't know. Yeah, we, th that's a that's I mean, up with, for debate. I think with dark ride, it just makes it more modern day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I think dark ride's modern day. I think 
the actual carnival is yeah. yeah the actual scare zone is a little bit a little bit older because that reminds me more of like a boardwalk which is like 50s right um and then i don't know where we're thinking like puts in the in the lore but it's it's, it's more there. it's more louisiana uh voodoo times which was probably really popping i think in the 1700s i want to say maybe mm-hmm. or even it, voodoo goes as far back as time itself <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I don't know where that fits in the lore. I want to find I'm, out. I'm giving a I'm getting a real 1700 1800 vibe. It's more of that kind of like Louisiana Bayou feel. Maybe early, yeah. maybe late 1800s, early 1900s. I don't know. No idea. Um, if you guys do know, leave a comment below and uh, I think um, I know someone who might. <laughs> educate us, please. Educate us. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm thinking. So I think the origins is going to continue. Um, we obviously have rumors of what we think it is. Um, there's been a speculation map that may or may not have been released. Um, we haven't commented on. But uh, the one thing I will comment on is that we did learn from Nance's post is that there will be weekly announcements. So with weekly announcements comes more videos. More videos to keep you informed <laughs> on what's going on over at Not Scary Farm. And um, as I, as uh, Tony mentioned, September 16th, it is opening. Um, and... Uh, the monsters are going to be as ready as ever. That's ready all I know. As ever, man. Yeah, I- I'm excited. Uh, I-, I know me and you had a great time in 2019 at this event. Uh, really opened up our doors to uh, inviting scare actors onto the podcast and really changed the format of the podcast and, and this channel in another direction. I don't think we even ever thought of taking it to, and I'm glad we did. Um, so not... You know, in the long run, has a very special place in mine and Sammy's heart. Uh, it really formatted and changed the direction of the channel, and for for a good, for really good reason, actually. Because um, I've I've enjoyed and had a lot of fun meeting people, learning about uh, histories of, of the haunts, and, and people reaching out to me wanting to be on the show. So it's been a, a phenomenal journey from from that that end of the 2019 season till till now. Uh, we continue to do so and, and have a good time, yeah. but I'm excited, man. I'm going to, I'm going to cut in here with one thing. Shameless plug here. Hey, we always need more guests. Hit us up. Hit Comment us up. below. Hit us up. Hit us up on social media. Cause uh, I know that season's going to be revving up real soon. Yeah. And I know you guys are excited as we get more and more announcements. So we want to feel a, your excitement. Scare actor, if you guys are a scare actor or a monster, um, and you just want to talk shop, hit us up. I'll well, even I'll even talk. extend it to the behind the scenes people because they have yeah. just as much fun building and designing this stuff than, you know, so even behind the scenes people, if you want to talk about what it's like building these haunts, what it's like getting into that entertainment business of of designing and bringing these haunts to life, hit us up. I'm always down to talk with you guys. Um, but I think it's going to be a good season. Uh, I think uh, we're going to continue to expand on that new origin storyline. Um, it looks like we're getting a new maze built right by Shadowlands from all the footage and photos that I've seen. Um, and if you actually drive past that area at Knott's, you can actually see it from outside the gates too as well. So it, it looks a lot of fun. I, we're supposed to, from if, if all goes well and it's looking good, we're supposed to get two brand new mazes, obviously with Special Ops leaving last year as well as Shadowlands. That fills the spot for two more. One we know confirmed is going to be replacing Shadowlands. Um, from construction that we've seen and whatnot. Not that we know it's going to be Shadowlands or we don't know what it's going to be yet, but um, from what I've seen in one photo that was taken on top of the uh, big old, what is that, Sky View or whatever? It was a Sky Tower. That Sky Tower. Uh, it looked like we saw a circus tent inside of that maze where Shadowlands was. Uh, that's a photo that's been around when Knott's first opened its doors back with rides and whatnot, so... Could we be getting an extension of the Carnival storyline in the Origins p- time period? Who knows? Uh, and I will say my other my caveat for the other one is I know the Mystery Lodge is closed, right? And there's no more seating over there because there was seating over there during the uh, what were those things called? Oh, the they tasting did, like, events. Taste of, yeah, the tasting events. I know that there was seating over there. Um, I know that that's gone. So maybe they are getting the work over there. Can't make a promise. Well. And and they, they don't but, necessarily but need that. Close. They don't necessarily need that spot right there to do construction because the actual maze is in the back lot of Knots. 
um, right yeah. there. Uh, that would just be for the line cube, but you do make a good point. Since it is closed, it is available to be used as a line for the maze that goes there, if there is going to be a maze that goes there this year. Um, I, From what I've seen, construction, uh, as far as what we can see, obviously um, we got a lot of great props and whatnot coming in the back from what you can see in the back lot, obviously where uh, Waxworks, The Depths, uh, Paranormal, and Dark Entities is at. Um do you want to make a prediction what you think is going to be the last of mazes this year? What do you think is leaving this year, man? What's leaving? Um, I have two. My two guesses are Pumpkin Eden. Okay. Um, because I think... I think it's done its time. It's, 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 it's done its time. Four or five years now, I think. Yeah, and typically, based upon our experience in 2019, wasn't... The longest line. So I, I no. think I am imagining longest line equates to fan favorite. So I'm, I'm imagining that's going to tie it up. The other one that's still a fan favorite, but it has done its time, it's paranormal. Right. Which I think is leaving. But as I say every time, I wanted to get the lights out treatment for its final year. Yeah. So if it's his final year this year, Please give us lights out. Well, if it's next year, please give us lights out. If they do lights out, though, won't that keep it around for another like couple years? They, I think when they did lights out for trick or treat, it was only one year. Was it only one year? I thought it was two. It might, yeah, might have been one. But it yeah, I mean, I def, that that's the best way I know to go for out. Sure they did one. That's the best way yeah. to go out right there. Lights out treatment, especially with that fucking maze, would be great. Yeah, I think yeah. it would add more atmosphere. It just lends, it lends itself. Yeah, it adds more it atmosphere really and it gives you put into that paranormal like. TV yeah. show world, you know what I mean? So, yeah, because yeah. the, the I think lights out. Well, there's a few ones that I would like to see a lights out. Waxworks would be fun. That'd be interesting. It'd be fun. Yeah. Um, I think um, dark ride would be fun. Well, dark too. ride, dark rides are dark rides already lights out. Yes just, and no. <laughs> I mean, it feels the to me there. It feels to me of obviously it's an abandoned dark ride, but it's like the power is on. But everything is malfunctioning around you because it's so old. Yeah. So, I mean, that one, I could go with, with or without. I think, obviously, Paranormal, top of my list. Um, and I think Dark Entities would be fun lights out. I think I'm more, um, on, the, I'm more on the track of Dark Entities getting the special ops treatment, but that's just me. Well, no, no, yeah, we want special ops treatment. But I think it would be fun to do a lights out of Dark Entities because of, like, you're, like, stuck on the spaceship. There's yeah. no lights. Yeah. And there's all fun. those alien creatures everywhere. Yeah. Mm, that would be a little you, scary. You shine the light to it, you're going to be fucking scared, and it's something fake, but then <laughs> something real is going to pop out at you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it would be a little cool. scary. That would be fun. Wow. I mean, for not being such a obviously smaller – obviously, this is the event that started it all. Like, for yeah. haunts and everything, this is what put haunts on the map. Mm -hmm. But for Knott's being, of course, a smaller compared to like Horror Nights or like other haunts that we've gone to, for them to fork out the technology to do this kind of stuff in mazes is very impressive. Really impressive. Uh, it actually makes these mazes more interactive and more fun that a lot, not a lot of haunts get to do. So I think uh, as far as mazes leaving this year, I have three that are, are speculated to probably leave this year. I'm going to go Dark Entities um because i think it's on like it's fourth or fifth year and and from past we know the lines haven't been the brightest on that one um even though i feel like it's a really good underrated maze uh, i i do like the overall design of it. it it really brings that world of like the thing meets the alien um and you're kind of like that survivor going in to rescue the team but then you find out the team's all pretty much been dead by all the aliens i think paranormal i'm gonna agree with you on paranormal and pumpkin eater uh those are the three i've speculated that not are gonna not all three of them will leave, but I think two out of the three will leave. If I had to choose the two out of three, I, I'm going heavily on Dark Entities and Pumpkin Eater because Paranormal is such a fan favorite. Yeah, but I also think I think I don't know if I think Dark Entities is newer than the um, the other tale. Yeah, I think it came out like 2017, 2018. Yeah, because I think it came out in 2017 or 18, and then in 2019 they they made the adjustments because right. it was too dark originally. Right. They added more light to it. So that way it flowed better. But Soundstage well, made, you know, by the way. Yeah. Gotta love so, sound stages. Yeah. Time will only tell. 
Plus, I love Dark Hate the DJ and Ding. I do too. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. But, I mean, that's all really the news we have. I mean, we can't really. I haven't been to the parks since the last tasting event. I think it was Halloween. Or no, Boysenberry, I think it was, maybe. Um, I don't even think I went to that. I don't even remember the last time I was at Knott's. God damn. This pandemic's time zone is just fucking me up. Um, but uh, it, I can tell you the last time I was there. It was 2019 in Knott's. It was, I think, uh, November uh, 2nd of 20, or November 1st? 1st or 2nd, right. 2019. Yeah, it was It was a definitely <laughs> a, an interesting, I mean, that's right, you didn't, get, you didn't get to come down and do any of the tasting events. So, um, we will keep you guys updated every week uh, if Knott's releases more stuff uh, as far as the event goes. Uh, the one thing I can tell you that me and Sammy are hoping they release more of is the Knott's Annual Pass. Um Obviously, I know not, uh, Sammy won't be able to attend every date, but he's at least trying to go once to do it. But for, like, you know, everyone else that lives here and who c- couldn't snatch that, you know, the pass add-on, um, we're hoping they release annual passes. Because if I remember correctly, Sammy, you and I bought the pass without having an annual pass to Knott's. Yeah, we got a pass holder discount, but we still got yeah, to buy yeah. the pass. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping they bring those back because, you know, I want to go support um, – people that we've met in the past that are going to be working there probably. I don't know. Hopefully they're going to be working there. Um, they've been waiting for about a year now, so I would hope they want to go back. Um, but, you know, friends of ours that, that are probably maybe working there, uh, and just to see the event again. I, I do miss the fog. I, I miss Fog Alley. I, I do miss the atmosphere, the music, the scores, the, um, the funnel cakes. I know Sammy misses the funnel cakes, so, you know. Got to have a nice funnel cake and sit on Ghost Town, right, Sammy? You know how that is. <laughs> oh, there's a spot waiting for me. There's a spot on the bench that's waiting for you. Sit down Ooh, and enjoy. I'm missing. I need a, I need a good nap. A good nap. I need a good nap. A nice funnel cake with a nice soda. Mm-hmm. Sounds good, right, Sammy? Ooh, Speaking your ref- language. A little, a little refill cup action. A little refill cup, you know, stop. every 10 minutes. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, stop. we literally have the timer already- on our fucking Boy- phones and watches. Like, oh, 10 minutes? Let's go get a refill. Oh, boysenberry punch! Here we come. Boysenberry punch with the sprite, bro. Come on, <laughs> sounds like fire to me. But with all that being said, we'll keep you guys updated every week with knots if they do release stuff. Uh, we cannot wait to go back to knots. A lot of fun stuff. Looking forward to knots. A lot of other haunts we're looking forward to this year as well. Uh, we got a ton of stuff coming in the next couple weeks. Uh, we're getting announcements left and right from Horror Nights and knots. Uh, where it's only a matter of time we get announcements from Hayride. Uh, more announcements from Hollow Scream. Um, and other local haunts, home haunts coming around the area. On top of that, August 14th and the 15th, Sammy and I will be attending Awaken the Spirits. Uh, you can catch us there, hitting up panels, hanging out with friends. And if you guys see us, don't be afraid. Come up and say hi. We'll say hi, take a picture. If you want to hang out with us for a little bit, that's fine. Uh, we'll be there. Just come find us. We'll, we're going to be busy, but we'll be there. Um, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, hit that like button and that bell notification with the subscribe button to be aware every time we put up a new video follow us on social media at knights of horror on twitter and at the knights of horror on instagram with all that being said peace and love we love all of you see you guys next time you're moving into a dimension of mind